Welcome to Electronic Literature at the University of Northern Iowa. Call me not Jim, because I am not your instructor. Your instructor, Jim O'Rocklin, is sitting behind you pretending not to pay attention. I'm just an animated figure he created. So, why are you listening to me? I'm also not Jim. You may call me really not Jim. Why are you listening to me? Are you compelled by the novelty of an avatar? Or is there something about a screen that transfixes your attention? Or would it be better if your professor turned me off and started talking? Well, these are the kinds of questions we will be asking in this class. What exactly is electronic literature? What, if anything, makes it different than literature in print? And why might we want to read it? Don't worry if you don't have instant answers to those questions. We have a whole semester to figure it out. So, what kind of skills help when reading electronic literature? First, flexibility and patience. Once you've opened one book, you probably know how to open any book. This is not true of electronic literature. There's no standard form or agreement as to how a piece of electronic literature should be structured. Each piece has its own rules. Some are easy to figure out and some are not. There is rarely just one way to read or experience a piece of electronic literature. So, you are encouraged to embrace nonlinearity. Alter your path. Make different choices. Let yourself play. Of course, this approach to reading may apply to print literature as well. Here's something to remember about this course. The higher the level of technology, the higher the likelihood that something won't work. If a computer crashes, don't worry. If a program that worked at school won't work at home, don't worry. If your computer gets hijacked by terrorist hackers, okay, then you can worry. But short of that last case, we will adapt and adjust as necessary. You might see more of us this semester, depending on how this performance goes over. But for now we're going to turn things over to Jim. Peace out.